Hello everyone. Myself, Dr. Ranjit Kumar Gadla. I am working as an associate professor in Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, we are going to discuss about uh, another topic from the module 5, which is inverters, that is the three-phase inverter. And the three-phase inverter having two modes of operation, one is 180 degree mode of operation, another one is 120 degree mode of operation. So first we will discuss about the 180 degree conduction mode of operation. And before going to discuss about the, the 180 degree mode of operation, so some important points that I have mentioned here about the, the three phase inverters. So usually these three phase inverters are used for high power applications and some of the major advantages that I have listed in this here. The first advantage is the frequency of the output voltage waveform is depends on the, the switching frequency or the switching rate of the switches. And here by varying the, the switching frequency or the switching rate of the switches, we can vary the frequency of the output voltage, which means by using the three phase inverter, not only because usually the function of the inverter is we can convert DC to AC. As we know, AC having the frequency also, which means not only the magnitude or not only the voltage or current, we can also vary or we can also change the frequency, which means uh, we can get the desired voltage at our desired frequency by using the DC to AC converters, which are inverters. So, the first advantage here is how we can get the different uh, frequency or uh, the uh, different frequency of output voltage. Okay, so that is by changing the, the switching rate, which means the switching frequency of the different switches. Then how we can vary means that is another concept that we will discuss later. Usually uh, the PWM control, pulse width modulation control. And when coming to the second advantage, the direction of the rotation of the motor can be reversed by changing the output phase sequence of the inverter. So here by using this converter, we can also change the direction of the rotation of the motor, which means suppose if it is rotating in a clockwise direction, the same motor we can also rotate in anti-clockwise direction by changing the output phase sequence of the inverter. And when coming to the third advantage here, the AC output voltage can be controlled by varying the DC link voltage. Of course, anyway, that is the function of the, the inverter. Okay, we can vary the output voltage by controlling the DC link voltage, right? The input voltage, not only the input voltage, we can also vary by using the, the DC link voltage. These are the some major advantages of the three-phase inverter, either in 180 degree conduction mode or in the uh, 120 degree conduction mode in both ways. These are the common advantages of the three-phase inverters. Then we will go for the, first we will discuss about the, the three-phase inverter with 180 degree of conduction mode. Okay. So here the 180 degree and 120 degree conduction mode is nothing but if you take, uh, suppose here you can see uh, in this uh, circuit diagram, this three phase inverter consisting of total 2 plus 2 plus 2, okay, six switches are there. For each leg, it is having two series connected thyristors, and each switch having its anti parallel diode, okay, as I as I, as we already discussed in the single phase, the function of the anti-parallel diode. Okay, so if you if you uh, what is that uh, connect with R load, then there is no uh, function of this diode. But if you uh, connect, uh, if you go for the RL or RLE load, then there is a function of the diode. But here, for our simple understanding, or uh, for our simple understanding of the um, the operating principle, here we are going to consider only R load, right? So here the 120 and 180 degree mode of conduction is nothing but here let us consider the thyristor T1 because every thyristor will conduct for some for some duration. Okay. Here we are considering in the 180 degree mode of conduction, every thyristor will conduct for 180 degree of duration. 
in 120 degree mode of conduction every conductor will conduct or every thyristor will conduct for a 120 degree of duration which means the conducting period here it is 180 degrees in 180 degree conduction mode and in 120 degree conduction mode the conduction period is 120 degrees that is the only difference between the 180 degree conduction mode and 120 degree conduction mode so of course based on that the output voltages and output voltage and current waveforms will different that we will discuss uh, here one by one first we will uh, go for the 180 degree conduction mode so here this is the a simple circuit it is having three phases and the output is uh, three phases input we are giving uh, the dc supply okay and uh, here as you can see let us consider this is phase a and phase b and this is phase c okay so that's why here uh, the voltage between these uh, two phases is v a b a and b and here it is v b c and here it is v c a so let us consider here we are connecting uh, the resistive load okay for each phase let us consider here it is a uh, the star connection load okay so this is connected to again another resistor let us consider here it is the resistor connected to the base phase, uh, phase b is rb and this is ra and this is let us consider rc like this uh, we are connecting the load the star connector load to the the three phase inverter then here first we should draw this uh, control what is that uh, circuit or the control scheme based on this it is easy to uh, what is that uh, draw the output voltage and output current waveforms okay so this is very important to understand how to get this one right of course here already i have mentioned this is a 180 degree conduction mode so that's why here each thyristor will get connect for 180 degrees and here before going to uh, draw this thing or uh, before going to understand this okay so i will let you know there are uh, some rules okay uh, the i mean the procedure should obey that rules the first rule is here as i mentioned this is 180 degree conduction mode so that's why each thyristor okay each thyristor in each leg okay will conduct for a period of 180 degrees which means and another thing in a one leg only one thyristor should conduct at a time because both thyristors should not conduct at a time okay at any instant only one conductor should be turned on which means once if t1 is turned on then t4 should always turn off okay so until unless t1 is turned off then immediately t4 can turn on right so which means in a leg or in each phase okay any one thyristor should turn on at a time not both the thyristors and another thing each thyristor should conduct for a period of 180 degrees which means suppose let us consider from t1 if t1 is starts conducting from 0 degrees then it should conduct up to 180 degrees then after 180 the t1 should turn off and immediately the t2 will start then from 180 to 360 then t4 will turn on like that which means the phase difference between t1 and t4 is 180 degrees not phase difference i mean uh, what is that uh, uh, the conduction uh, difference between t1 and t2 is 180 degrees and another thing is the two conductors i mean the positive cycle and negative cycle of thyristors let us consider here t1 t3 and t5 are the positive uh, what is that cycle conductors okay and here the t4 and t6 and t2 are the let us consider negative cycle conductors okay and the phase difference between are the what is that the conduction period difference between the positive group of conductors should be 120 degrees and similarly the uh, what is that conduction difference uh, between the negative group of conductors is also 120 degrees which means suppose if t1 is conduct start conducting from 0 degrees okay t1 then t3 the i mean t in the conduction period uh, difference between t3 and t1 should be 120 which means if t1 is start at the 0 degrees okay then after 120 degrees t3 will start conducting right 
and after 120 degrees, after start conducting of T3, after 120 degrees, T5 will conduct. T5 will conduct. Okay, which means in the same leg, the conduction duration between T1 and T4 should be 180 degrees. And if the different legs and only within the positive group, not the T1 and T6, because T1 is from the first phase and T6 is from the second phase. But T1 is from the positive group of thyristors and T6 is from the negative group of thyristors. So this condition is not work out with uh, one positive group of thyristor and one negative group of thyristor. Okay. So we should consider only the positive group of thyristors, which means T1, T3 and T5. So the phase or uh, the conduction period, period difference between T1 and T3 is 120 and T3 and T5 is also 120. Okay. But T1 and T5, 120 plus 120, 240 like that. Similarly, negative also. Once T2, T4 is start set, maybe according to this T4 will start set 180 degrees. Okay. Then T6, 180 plus 120. At this particular point, then T6 will start. Then T2 again plus after 120. Then T2 will start. Turn on. This is how, based on these conditions, now we are going to draw this one. Okay. Which means here, let us consider this is represents... Um, the switches which are connected to phase A and these are the switches which are connected to phase B and these are the switches which are connected to phase C. So for three phases, we have drawn three lines. First, uh, let us start with uh, thyristor T1. So thyristor T1 is in the phase A. So that's why here the first line we are indicating the thyristor T1. So how long uh, the thyristor T1 will conduct for duration of 180 degrees. So that's why here this is 0 and 60 because every 60 cycles we have indicated with mark. So, 0, 60, 120 and 180. This is 180. So, up to 180. So, at 180 degrees, up to 180, T1 is conducting. Right? Okay. So, in the same leg, what is the other thyristor is there? Which is T4. So, after 180 degrees, then T4 should conduct. Right? Then, after 180 degrees, T4 is start conducting. Then, T4, again, how long it will conduct? Again, for the duration of 180 degrees. Because this is 180 degree uh, conduction mode. Then, 180 degree conduction mode, T4. Then this will repeat. Then after that, again T1, then again T4, which means in the phase A, because we are having only two switches. Okay. So these two switches turn on alternatively. Once T1 turn on, then after T4, then after T1, then after T4. Like that. Right. Then coming to the phase B. In the phase B, what are the different type of, what are the different switches present? T3 and T6. Right. So first, when T3 should turn on, because that phase difference between T1 and T3 should be 120 degrees. So, we know already when T1 is started. Okay, start conducting. Then after 120, we can start the T3 conduction. Same here, you can see, this is T1 here, 0 degrees had started. So, after 120 means here. Okay, so here the T3 starts conducting. Once T3 starts conducting, then how long it will conduct again? 180 degrees. So, from 120 to 300, it is 180 degrees. So, up to 180 degrees, the T3 is conducting. Once t Then after T3, again in the... Same phase, what is the other switch? T6. And the phase difference between T3 and T6 is 180 degrees. So here, again, after T3, 180 degrees, then T6 will start conducting. Then T6, again, for 180 degrees. Then again, T3 and T6. Because the phase B is connected to only two switches, which are 3 and 6. Right? Next, phase C. Here, for phase C, T5 and T2 are connected. So, what is the phase difference between T3 and T5 is 120, which means... Once T3 is start conducting, after 120 degrees, T5 should start, right? So, T3 is start conducting at 120 degrees, okay? So, which means T5 should be 120 plus 120, 240, okay? So, that's why here it is started at the 240 T5. Then, how long T5 will conduct? For 180 degrees of duration. After 180, what is the other switch present in the same leg? T2. Then, T2 will conduct after 120, after 180 degrees, then T5. So, before that, as you can see, you will be having 240 degrees. Okay. And before T5, T5 after T2. Okay. So T2 after T5, which means before T5, what is the switch is that T2. So that's why here we will make it T2. The T2 conduct for 180 degrees. And before T2, again T5 is there. So that's why D5 is conducting for 60 degrees. And in this case also, same thing. This is how we have to, uh, what is that, uh, uh, draw the control circuit for different all for all the switches which means here if you see suppose 
for every 60 degrees of interval. So the first 60 degrees of interval you can just draw here. Okay. So what are the switches conducting during this 0 to 60 degrees? Starting from phase A. In phase A, T1 is conducting. Okay. In phase B, T6 is conducting and in phase C, T5 is conducting. So that's why here 5, 6, 1. Okay. And again from another 60, 60 to 120, 60 to 120. Here T2 is conducting. Okay. And here T6 is conducting and here still T1 is conducting. So that's why you can see 1, 2, 6. Same something like that here. The third way is 120 to 180, 120 to 180. Here T2 is conducting, T3 is conducting and still T1 is conducting. So 1, 2, 3. Like that here you have to write for different, uh, what is that, uh, steps. Okay. So once here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So after six cycles, because after 360 degrees, okay, the same cycle will repeat because you can see 561 here, again here 561. Okay, and here 612 and here 612. And here 123 and here 123. So once if you are able to write for 360 degrees, okay, then after that the same cycle will repeat. Okay, so this is how we have to draw the this 180 degree mode of conduction control circuit, right? Then, now, we have to find uh, the phase voltages, right? Because we have to draw the waveforms for the phase voltages as well as the line voltages. So, first we will find the phase voltages during this interval, during 0 to 60, what is VAB, what is VBC and what is VCA and 60 to 120, again what is VA, what is VA, what is VB, what is VC, like that we will find. Okay. So first let us consider here, there are different steps. First step 1. In the step 1, what we will consider here in the step 1, the switch 5, 6, 1 are turn on. Right? Okay. So here, the same circuit, okay, because in every phase, uh, there are two switches, 1, 4, 3, 6 and 5, 2. In the same configuration we have considered and uh, it is a star connector load uh, as we just now uh, discussed. Okay. And here, what are the switches are turned on? 1, 5, 6, 1. So that's why here, 5, here it is turned on and uh, this is uh, the positive group of thyristor and 6, here it is the negative group of thyristor and again 1 is the positive group of thyristor. Right. If you draw the equivalent circuit for this, you will get like this. Okay. Because this is a uh, uh, what is that? 1. Okay. This A is connected to 1. Okay. A phase and this, this is 0. And the B phase is connected to 6. Okay. But 6 is uh, the negative group of thyristor. Okay. And here the C phase, C phase is connected to uh, what is that? Uh, switch 5 and this is the positive group of thyristor. So that's why here C, it is the positive group of thyristor. Right. Okay. Fine. Now here we a, V, B and V, C. So, V, A means here plus and minus and V, B, V, C is also plus and minus and V, B is here it is plus and minus. Right? Okay. Now, what is the voltage across the these two terminals? Voltage across these two terminals is V, S. Right? Okay. So, here V, A, O or V, A is equal to V, C, O. Right, because these two are connected across the same terminals. VAO is equal to VCO. Then here VAO, which is equal to what is the total voltage? VS into okay. Because here just the voltage division rule that we are applying. What is the voltage uh, into what is the the total impedance across A and C? Because here Z and Z both are in uh, what is that parallel? Okay, so then you will get that is Z by two. Z by 2 by the total impedance is Z by 2 plus what is that Z? Z by 2 plus Z. Okay. Then if you simplify this, then you will get VAO which is equal to VCO which is equal to VS by 3. VS by 3. That is VAO is equal to VBO, I mean VCO. Similarly, the voltage across this VBO, okay, VBO is equal to 
here v b o is minus uh, what is that uh, minus because v b o because here it is uh, uh, plus um, plus and minus okay so that's why here you will get v b o is equal to uh, the negative which means again here minus v s into here the total impedance is z and by z by two plus z then if you simplify this then you will get two v s minus two v s by three which means if the two impedances are connected in parallel then you will get the voltage across these uh, two impedances uh, is v s by 3 and the negative group of thyristor the voltage across the negative group of thyristor if one uh, what is that uh, impedance is connected then that is 2 v s by 3 okay like that for step 2 let us consider step 2 in the step 2 here this is the step 2 6 1 2 are uh, conducting okay so that's why you can see here this is 6 is conducting 1 is conducting and 2 is conducting which means one switch is from the positive group and another remaining two switches are from the negative group and the positive group switch is connected to phase a that's why here you can see phase a is connected to positive group and phase uh, what is that uh, then phase b is connected to 6 the negative group of thyristor and phase c is also connected to negative group of thyristor which means the lower uh, thyristor that's why here you can see this is v b o and v c o again same principle okay whatever the principle we have followed to find this v a o v b o v c o here also v a o which is equal to 2 v s by 3 okay and here uh, v b o and v c o is equal to minus v s by okay next similarly in the step 3 and step 4 also okay in the step 3 1 2 3 are conducting so here you can see 1 2 and 3 so 2 are from the positive group of thyristors and one switch is from the negative group of thyristors same way again vao and vbo and vco is connected to negative so vao and vbo vao and vbo and here vco is connected to the negative group of thyristor so here also this is vs by 3 and this is minus 2 V S by 3, which is equal to V A O, which is equal to V B O, which, which these are the phase voltages. Or in, in simply V A V B also we can consider. And this equal to V C O. Okay. Then in the step 4, in the step 4 also, here as you can see, step 4, 2, 3, 4. Similarly, 2, 3, and 4. So here phase A is connected to negative group of thyristor, B is connected to positive group of thyristor, C is connected to again negative group of thyristor. So up to 180 degrees more, up to 180 is enough because as I told you, up to 180 means up to 6 uh, steps is okay. Once if you uh, find the VAB, VAVB, VC during these 6 steps, then the same VAVB, VC values will, uh, what is that, continue for again 6 steps. So here also, because here V, B O which is equal to 2 V S by 3 and here V A O which is equal to V C O which is equal to minus V S by 3 because why we are writing this because based on this only now we are going to draw the output voltage equation uh, output voltage waveform right okay so this way similarly uh, what is that the remaining uh, steps uh, 5 and 6 also the same way we can write Okay, like VAO, VBO and VCO, we can find based on uh, from this circuit diagram. So, that's why this is very, very important. Okay, if you draw these control circuit correctly, then after that, you just simply follow some simple steps, then you will able to draw the output waveform, voltage, output voltage waveform, right? Okay, now we are going to draw the output voltage waveform. Okay, so for drawing of output voltage waveform is also, we are taking again the control circuit as a base right okay fine so first here in the this is this is uh, this waveform is v a o and this is uh, v b o and this is v c o three phase voltages waveforms that we are going to draw right okay during 0 to 60 0 to 60 what is the value of v a o and v b o and v c o that we need to know okay so that where we can know from this circuit okay so here vao and vco is equal to uh, vs by 3 okay and vbo is equal to minus 2 vs by 3 right here 
v s by three and v c o is equal to also v s by three and here it is minus two v s by three. Right from this from this circuit from this circuit we already calculated from this circuit we have calculated right then here v a o is equal to v s by three. So let us consider here because this is v s. Let us consider so v s by three during this time. Here we have drawn. Then similarly here it is minus two v s by three. So that's why here negative. Uh, what is that uh, way? And here it is also v s by three. Next, during sixty to one twenty degrees, here v a o is equal to two v s by three. Okay, and uh, uh, what is that? Uh, this v b o and v c o is minus v s by three, and here it is also minus v s by three because this is again from here. Okay, c v b o and v c o is minus v s by three, and v a o is equal to two v s by three. Similarly, here we will uh, draw here two v s by three means here two v s by three. So you just simply join this two v s by three, and here minus uh, v s by three. And here also, what is that minus v s by three? So simply you can join this, right? And after that, from one twenty to one eighty, again this is plus v s by three, okay? And this is also plus v s by three, and this is minus two v s by three. So after one eighty to two forty, again this is minus v s by three, and this is plus two v s by three, and this is again minus v s by three. As you can see here. In every sixty degrees of cycle, okay, any two phase voltages are same, either V A B V B V V is V A not or V B not or V B not or V C not or V A not and V C not, because as you can see here, these two in this case uh, in the first case this and this is same in the second case this one and this one is same like that in every uh, what is that uh, interval or in every uh, mode of operation in every step okay or every sixty degrees. Two phase voltages are same, and one phase voltage is the different one, right? Okay, so that is what here you can observe. So similarly, up to three sixty, you have to uh, what is that? Uh, repeat. This is up to three sixty, and here also this is up to three sixty, and here also this is up to three sixty. After three sixty, as you can see, the same cycle will repeat. See, one is V S by three. And then two V S by three, and again V S by three, and minus V S by three, minus two V S by three, and minus V S by three, something like that. And here also, as you can see, minus two V S by three, and minus V S by three, and plus V S by three, plus two V S by three, and uh, plus V S by three, and uh, minus V S by three, and minus two V S by three. And here also, as you can see, plus V S by three, and minus V S by three, minus two V S by three, minus V S by three. Plus V S by three and plus two V S by three and plus V S by three like that. So whatever the waveform it is there for zero to sixty degrees, uh, sorry zero to three sixty degrees, the same waveform will repeat after that. This is how we can draw the phase voltages waveform. Then coming to the line voltages waveform. Okay, in the line voltages waveform, as you can see, these are the line voltages waveforms. Okay, uh, of course here from the phase voltages itself we can draw the line voltages. Still here this is V A O and this is V B O and this is V C O and this is V A B, this is V B C and this is V C A. So as we know V A B is equal to V A O minus V B O and here V B C is equal to V B O minus V C O. And here V C A is equal to V C O minus V A O. Already we know what is V A O and what is V B O during first sixty uh, uh, degrees. What is V A O and what is V B O during V A O is equal to V S by three and V B O is equal to minus two V S by three. So here V S by three minus of minus two V S by three. Okay, so here. These uh, V S by three minus of minus plus so three here this is three V S by three so three three gets cancelled you will get V S that's why here you can see this is V S for first sixty degrees then after sixty degrees also again V A O V B O 
Yeah, from here also we will get to know because as you can see here, 2 Vs by 3 and here it is um, minus uh, Vs by 3. Okay, so 2 Vs by 3 minus of minus minus Vs by 3. Okay, so this is also 3 Vs by 3 which is equal to Vs. So that's why from 60 to 120 also here it is Vs only. Then after that here again you can see here this is minus 2 Vs by 3 and here it is Vs by 3. Okay, so that's why here this is 0. Okay, uh, let me see here this is uh, uh, Vs by 3. Okay, minus and 2 Vs by 3 here. So that's why it is, uh, uh, what is that, um, 3 minus 3, 0. Okay, so that is how we can draw the output voltage waveforms. Here also after 360 it will repeat same. Similarly for 0 to 60 degrees and uh, VBO, okay, we know what is VBO and what is VCO during uh, 0 to 60 degrees, okay, the same waveform here you can draw and similarly uh, we know uh, what is the uh, VCO and VAO during first 60 degrees, okay, so this way we can draw. So that's why here the main heart of the uh, this uh, procedure is the control circuit. This is the circuit. First, if you are able to draw this control circuit, then it is very easy uh, to follow the further steps. And the two key points to draw these uh, control circuit is one is the phase difference or the conduction period difference between the two switches in the same phase is 180 degrees which means first suppose if T1 and T4 are present in the first phase so the T4 is starts conducting at 0 degrees then it will conduct up to 180 degrees because this is 180 degree conduction mode then after 180 other switch in the same leg which is T4 then T4 will start turn on then again T4 will also conduct for 180 degrees then after again the T1 so like that it will repeat then the second point is the phase difference or the conduction period difference between the positive group of switches which are 1, 3 and 5 okay, is 120 degrees which means once in the first switch whether the T1 it is starts conducting at 0 degrees after 120 degrees whether it is turn on or turn off it, we don't care okay. So whether it is turning off at 120 or 180 it is uh, don't care okay. So after T1 after 120 degrees of conduction of the T1, then immediately T3 will start conducting. Then after T3, 180 degrees again in the same leg T6 is there, then T6 will start conducting. Similarly, in the third curve, third phase, third phase, what are the switches? 2 and 5 switches are there. Sorry, 5 and 2, okay, because the upper is 5 and lower is the two switch, uh, second uh, number 2 switch is there, okay. Then T5 will start conducting after 120 degrees of the T1 starts conducting. Okay, then in the same leg T2 is there and T2 will start conduct after 180 degrees of the T5. Like that you can easily because every row will represent one phase. This is how uh, the operation of the three phase inverter. Right. So, in the next class we will discuss about the, the operation of the three phase inverter in 120 degree conduction mode. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.